way! Look at this big, huge monster, yo. It's like a Komodo dragon, right? It's the boogeyman under the bed. Where you going, buddy? Where you going? Trying to rip my skin open with the sharp claws you got? This is called a black dragon, AKA the Asian water monitor. And also my favorite animal, one of my favorite reptiles in the whole world. Look at this beast, bro. It's literally a dinosaur. Look at him. Okay, I'm gonna put you down now so we can watch you go. Strictly carnivorous, only eating meat. Uh, they love to go in the water, swim and eat fish. They eat small prey items. I mean, spectacular animal. They walk, you know, side to side so they can see. They stick their tongue out. That's called monitoring. Monitoring. They're from Asia, you know. That's why they got the name Asian Water Monitor. And you're just so fat and chunky, bro. Look at you. By far, like the closest thing to a Komodo dragon you're gonna get. You know what I'm saying? Look at this thing, bro. Puppy dog. It's like having a dog, for real. <sighs> I just wanna let you know, buddy. I love you. And I'm gonna take good, good, good care of you. You know what I'm saying? You're just so handsome. Look at you. You big black, jet black, sexy, freaking piece of licorice, uh, black Sharpie, you know, cocoa, chocolate chip, dragon looking piece of foil and art. I love you. And that didn't make any sense at all. <laughs> okay, let me see your claws. Let me see your hand. Let's show everybody how big your hand is compared to mine. You guys see, these guys can live up in trees. They use these claws right here to grip and grab onto branches and bark and also grip the ground as they walk. And also then when they eat food, if it's too thick, it's too big for them, they'll grab it with their jaws and they'll tear it apart with both of their arms. This may look like fat, but this is straight up muscle right here. And if you can tell, the back legs are almost the same size as the front legs, which means they have almost an equal grip now, if you look at this stout body up here, like almost like a, like a pit bull neck, and he's a little ticklish. I can, I can tickle you like that. You like? He don't like to be tickled on camera, but you know, you get that right spot. You see his little body, like, oh yeah, I like that. So going back to down by his tail, you see this thickness, right? And then you come down to the back. His tail is like a propeller, you know, a propeller through the water, like this, boom, like like almost like a fish fin. You know, and that's how they move their tail. They put their arms by their side and they just put their head on top and that big belly creates a big flotation device. But that tail, it's like a propeller, you know, almost like a boat. And they dip, dive down underwater. I mean, magnificent creatures. And they're so intelligent. You feed them and your hands are covered in meat and slime and yuck and steak and rats. And they take the meat right between your fingertips and they don't bite your fingers because they know your fingers aren't food. That's how intelligent these beautiful animals are. Some of my favorite around the entire world. They have Kamani species. They have um, regular black dragons. It's all like different locales. Locale specific is like, just a lizard coming from a different region in that area, you know? Ooh, you big, huge, big black lizard. You are hefty, boy. Oh, yeah. So, when you think about reptiles and dragons, this is the one you should be thinking about. The black dragon. <laughs>